play a, a loving young man named David. Um, he's, a, he's a normal guy, father, ex-husband, really trying to navigate being a single dad and navigate the relationship with his ex-wife and co-parenting. Um, really the most important thing to him is his daughter and her well-being. Um, he meets this wonderful woman named Julia, played by the, the lovely Rosario Dawson, and falls in love, obviously, look at her. Really the story is about the dynamic between David and his new love and his ex-wife and, and, and their daughter and how that, you know, throwing all those elements into a pot and just trying to, to figure that out and coexist and David really is trying to just make everything balance and be okay and live a life and, and be able to allow himself to, to fall in love um, and have a relationship with Julia. And it's not that easy and, and things kind of uh, derail a little bit. And, uh, and this is about you know this is about David trying to, to figure that out and, and figure out who is telling the truth. Very good. So, what appealed to you about this character when you read this script? Uh, all I could see the whole time was Catherine Heigl and Rosario Dawson. I didn't even I didn't even see any words or character or anything, and I was like, let's do it. Let's sign me up. Um, th it, it was uh, partly true, by the way. <laughs> Um, I thought it was just a really interesting telling of this sort of this genre. Um, it was um, n number one, let's be honest, to, to work with people that I th think are talented and beautiful and sexy and powerful like Catherine and Rosari, who I've known of much longer than I've known them. Um, and also Denise Denovi and, 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 and uh, her producing partner Allison. And just these are prof just powerful, they're p powerhouse producers. and. Their, their careers have spanned, I mean, like, Denise did, she worked on Edward Scissorhands. I mean, she's forgotten more about this business than I'll ever know, I think. Um, so I just thought, like, this is a great story and a great idea and an interesting retelling of this genre, but also, like, obviously you want to work with good people, and I think that good work begets better work, and uh, it's been nothing but a great experience for me. These people have been great. I, I learned a lot. Um, from all of them and I just tried to really I just tried to kind of pretend like I knew what I was doing more than I did and try not get exposed like and not be exposed that the clearly I was out of my league I think after seeing this you uh, it, it's a very relatable story I sure think in modern day relationships or divorce or whatever people are going through so do you think people are gonna walk away from this thinking what would I have done in that if I was in that position or do you think it's going to be relatable to a lot of people? Uh, absolutely. I think the girls that drag their um, significance to this, are the, the, those that are men are probably going to go, let's not get married. <laughs> you know what, let's put this off a little while, just in case. Um, I don't, it's very relatable. It's, um, you know, this, this takes place in a small town, not a tiny town, but a, a town small enough that people know each other. Um, and... You know, people know each other's business, and today, in today's day and age, as we talked a little, a little bit about before, like you know, with social media and Facebook, and like we all know everybody's business, and that just makes it even worse. It's not just going to the local watering hole or the or the the beauty parlor where people get their gossip. It's like you wake up in the morning and people are on Instagram and Facebook, and that like that's how it, that's how we get our news now. Um, so. In a relationships, ha they're already hard enough, right? And then you have to deal with that. You have to deal with people knowing your dirty laundry immediately. Mm -hmm. um, so it's relatable. I think people are gonna. It's gonna be much like, you know, I, I'll, I'll say it in a different way. Like the, when people went to see the movie The Breakup with Vince Vaughn and Jennifer Aniston, um, you went to see that because you thought it was gonna be funny and about a breakup. It was so realistic. It made people think like, oh, this is what a real breakup is like. And this movie really is what potentially a real divorce um, could could be like and all the elements and people hiding their past because they are not proud of their past and we deal with a little bit of domestic violence. There's a lot of things that um, are gonna strike chords with people in this movie.